Hello my friends, we're back in Luminar Neo and today we are doing some fun color grading, changing this summer image over here into this autumn image. So let's see how we would do that. First, I will go to edit and in our tool, I will start with color. And the goal for this is to remove as much as the green so we can later add the oranges. So I will start with hue and I will move the greens all the way to negative 100. The yellows, I am going to move them a little bit into the oranges, maybe negative 44. The oranges a little bit towards the red, but not too much, maybe negative 8 for this image. Then I want to go to saturation and I want to desaturate further the greens and saturate more the yellows and the oranges. So let's see, I will start with the oranges and I'm going to increase the saturation somewhere in the 50s. Let's see, 52 for this image. Yellows, the same thing into the 50s, maybe 53, 52, somewhere around there. The greens I want to desaturate. So we're going to go to negative 25 and we'll desaturate the cyans a little bit because we do have some cyans into those trees. And we'll go that to negative 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there. Now we have this hue shift and we can just warm the whole image a little bit by moving the hue a little bit to the left, maybe to negative five. And it's already looking more like autumn. Now I want to add some color grading using color harmony and we'll go into our color balance. And let's start with shadows. For shadows, I want to add a little bit of red. Maybe we'll go to we'll go pretty aggressive on this. We'll go to 20 and then add even a little bit of magenta, maybe negative three. Then I want to go into the midtones and in midtones, I want to add a little bit of reds, maybe not too much, six and yellows, maybe negative seven, eight, somewhere around there. And now we're moving into the highlights and we're just adding some yellows, maybe 16, 17, and that should be good. All right, what can we do next? We can make it even more autumn looking like if we add a color lot. And uh, let's see, which one is gonna give us some warm tones? Not that one. Oh, this one is very warm. So this is Long Beach and I don't wanna add that much because that's way too much. So I will put the amount somewhere, somewhere, let's see, like 20, 19, that should work. All right. What else do we want to do? We want to brighten up those yellows so they kind of separate a little bit from the oranges. So for that, I will go back to color and this time I will work with the luminance. And in the luminance, I am going to increase the oranges to brighten them up a little bit, maybe to plus nine. And the yellows, I want to increase this a lot to brighten them up. So I'm going to go into the 50s, 55, 53, somewhere around there. The greens, I want to darken. So I am going to bring them down to 40, 41, 42, somewhere around there. Cyan, I will darken them as well. So I'll bring those negative 32. Um, I want to go back to saturation and take down a little bit the oranges because they're looking a little bit way too saturated, maybe negative 15. And then I also want to bring the hue of the oranges a little bit more towards red, just so to create a little bit more separation. And I'm just going to go just a little bit, maybe to negative six. So let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. Let's see the whole image so far. This is our before and after, before and after. All right, what else can we do? Maybe we'll use a little bit of this enhance, see what this will do for our image. And I am going to add somewhere about here. Let's see, this is before and after. It just makes it a little bit less dull, before and after. And I like that. What else do I wanna do? I want to go into the develop and maybe maybe I want to take down the highlights a little bit. Um, not too much. 
let's see, 24, or do I want to add them up? Hmm, I'll take them down. Up, now we'll take them up. Let's take them up. 25, we'll go with that, but then we'll take the shadows down. And we'll take the shadows somewhere pretty, pretty aggressive, 60s, 65, just like that. Let's see that before and after, before and after. And that is good. I still believe the saturation is a little bit, maybe too much. So I want to maybe go back into the develop and let's see. I'll go back into the color and this time I want to work with the saturation and I will take the saturation down. Let's see. Negative 11, but then I will add some vibrance because vibrance is a lot more natural looking. So I will add, let's see, 25 vibrance and saturation will take it down by 11. So this is our before and after. You see, just tone down, down a little bit the colors before and after. Our whole image so far, it's before and after. All right, that is good. I'm sorry for the background noise. My dog is chewing a bone. I want to add a vignette to draw attention over here where the bear is. So I am going to go to my vignette, choose subject and click on the bear and then take the amount to negative 100. The size, I'm going to make it pretty small. I'm going to add a little bit of inner light, not too much. I'm going to feather it to 100 and then move the amount to something that looks pleasing, something like that. This is our before and after vignette before and after. All right, one more thing I want to do, and that is maybe crop the image. This tree over here bothers me. It's very, very bright color, and it is um, on the edge of the frame, so I don't really like that. So I am going to go to the crop tool, and let's see, I will just drag it down. I'm going to put the bear somewhere on this intersection on the rule of thirds, something like that. And I want to make sure this tree does not go like this will be bad if we put the tree right on the very edge of the frame. So I'm going to move that inwards a little bit so it's not on the edge. And this tree over here, we're going to want to leave some space so it's not all the way on the edge. And this looks good to me. I'm going to accept this and let's see. This is our whole image before and after, before and after. And this is how we change summer into autumn and luminar neon. Let's see this one more time. This is my before and after. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I will see you in my next video.